All right, part two, getting started. So in the last video, um, we were able to successfully get Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers and Doug's Big Game repaired, working beautifully. Um, this time around, we're going to be working on Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver and Pokemon Pinball. So I think I'm going to save Pokemon Pinball here for last. So let's go ahead and get cracking into Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver. So first things first, we give it the good old IPA treatment here. Give it its best fighting chance of working. Okay, and just like with all the other games, and this one's quite crusty, let's try that off. And let's see if we got lucky with this one. Stick it in. And turn it on. There we go, Game Boy, Nintendo, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver. So didn't test this one before. Um, it just fired right up though, so looks like this one didn't even need any repairs, which is good. Everything seems to be working. I might actually enjoy this game. Dumb game. Don't know what's going on. All right. And so, lastly, let's get Pokemon Pinball. This is the one I was most excited for in the job lot. Um, mostly because it has this battery cover. These are all over the place without the battery cover because us dumb kids always lost this. Um, it has this rumble pack um, that requires a AAA battery, which I've got one of those on the side here. Um, I can already see that the battery contacts are a little bit corroded there, but we'll, we'll still crack it open and clean it out. But beforehand, I do want to try giving it a quick clean. Um, and see if the game at least fires up. It's possible that the rumble may not work, um, but the game may fire up just fine. So let's get this one cleaned up. And just like the others, pretty crusty there. And then let's stick it in there and turn it on. Comes up Game Boy Nintendo. All right, yep, all the Game Freak stuff is coming up. So on this one, it looks like, yeah, it looks like everything works, but the rumble probably does not, if I were to guess. Um, at the very least, I do want to open it up, like I said, so that I can clean out that, um, that corrosion, because that corrosion will eat away at the rest of the board before long, and we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and flip this one off and crack it open. There we go. Okay, yeah, so that is quite crusty there. The other side's not bad, um, but this side is very crusty. So we just want to be able to get in here again with our good old IPA and a brush. There we go. That one's looking much better. And then let's hit the other side here just for good measure. That is all looking good. Let's give that a second to dry off. Um, all the connections here for the uh, rumble motor all look to be making connections where they need to be. Nothing immediately sticks out as being loose or anything, but let's go ahead and check the connections on some of these chips just to see how they all look and to make sure that nothing's going to be awry. Nope. This battery may eventually go. Uh, so save data, data may not be reliable. It may have already gone. Um, I don't currently have anything to replace it with. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, we got pretty much nothing. Um, so yeah, that battery's dead. If it had any charge, it no longer does. Um, so we may look at replacing that down the road, but you can still play the game as is without any battery. You just won't be able to save your high scores in this case. And then let's hook this back on there. Close that up there. Let's get those screws 
put back where they go. And then let's throw battery in. Cover that up. There we go. And then let's throw this back in and see if it works. So we got the Nintendo logo, that's good. And then I'm not sure when all you're supposed to feel rumble. But I'm not feeling it. I would just assume in the rumble option here you would you would feel it <laughs> between on and off. Let's open this up again here. I guess first off let's just check that our battery is good like we think it is. 1.3 volts so that should be enough I would imagine. Um, it is specifically asking for 1.5 just for funsies. Let's take the blue off the negative here. The red off the positive here. And then let's put the blue on the blue. All right. And then in theory, shouldn't overload it too much, but we should get some life out of it, which we are not. Let's try that again. That doesn't even look like it's trying. Let's see. Let's see what I might have that puts out a few volts. What is this battery rated at? Like three point something? 3.85? Just for a second, shouldn't hurt it. Okay, yeah, there we go. So. <laughs> This is way overpowering it with a cell phone battery here at 3.8 volts, but you guys can see that jumping around there. So the, the motor is definitely good. I think we just have a bad battery here. Um, so let me go see if I can track down a better battery. And then that should get our situation all taken care of here. Let's get these soldered back in real quick. All right, so I will be back when I have a fresh battery. So I couldn't find a battery right away that was um, charged anywhere near 1.5 volts. So I went ahead and recharged my rechargeables here. Um, it's currently at 1.44, hopefully that's enough. Um, I can't imagine that it is so picky that it needs 1.5 exactly, but this will give us our best chance. Let's try firing this back up here. Good news, the game still works. Yep. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me pull it up to the... and turn the sound down here. But if I turn the rumble on... Got to ride up against the mic, so I don't know if it's coming through. But the rumble does work now, so yeah, it looks like it was just a battery issue. So, looks like out of the four games that we got here then, um, they all work. Let's just make sure it works in-game here. It is there, it is present, it does work. So, let's get this one buttoned up here. So we were able to get all of the games working um, wherever Hot Wheels went. There it is. So Hot Wheels just needed a quick clean. It looks like it didn't need anything special. Um, nothing needed to come apart. The Pokemon Pinball, um, same sort of thing. Just a good clean and then a, apparently a, a well-charged battery. And then the Doug and the Scooby-Doo game 
all they needed was the solder joints there on that one chip. From what I've seen watching other videos online, um, I know, I don't know how it's pronounced, Stestix Fix. He, he did a series of Game Boy Color games, and I think my mate Vince has as well, that um, those chips are just, I don't know, they're just problematic. So it's not the first time that we've seen it. Definitely won't be the last. As always, I appreciate you guys watching the video and um, any tips, tricks, pointers, things you'd like to see in the future, let me know. I might be more than happy to include them. And as always, thanks for watching.